Hi, welcome. My name is Dale McCluskey, and I'd like to take a couple minutes to talk about um, tracking through drive, and more specifically, um, hard surface tracking, how to um, get your dog to um, align properly with the track, how to uh, unleash the full potential of your service dog without a uh, trade-off between uh, speed and focus. And I'm going to um, give you a few tips here. Um, the information that I'm going to be discussing um, comes directly from um, my new book called uh, Going the Ground, the Methodology of Police Dog Training. Um, I would encourage you, if you're a police dog handler or trainer, to, to pick up this book. Um, a lot of the information contained in the book uh, you will not find anywhere else in any other dog training manual. Uh, this book is extremely uh, insightful. It uh, really shows that um, regardless of, of um, your current ability, that you can um, unleash, um, harness and unleash the full uh, potential, the, the, the hidden ability in your service dog. Um, so what I do is I take the mystery out of, out of uh, tracking through drive. I show that, uh, you know, um, how to, step by step, how to get back um, to a, uh, you know, bring bring it back so that you can connect the dots the right way because there is a process here that uh, needs to go through. Uh, it has to go in certain stages to um, to basically um, uh, get the dot to uh, connect this dot to package up the uh, bite work properly so that um, you're going to get the speed um, before um, you know, fine-tuning and bringing the focus uh, so that you get a true tracking standard. Um, here, the first uh, diagram here is is from my book. Um, this is kind of where it all starts. This is the basic tracking model. This is a country track. Um, this uh, basically really shows you um, how to uh, get to a have a uh, uh, outstanding uh, hard tracking ability. Um, the secret to um, to that uh, to a great hard surface tracking ability with a dog is uh, comes through a, uh, a fantastic uh, country track. And so, uh, what you're doing is you're using a dog's bringing the dog out of its natural environment, and you're um, getting you're tapping into um, the prey drive, dog's hunting drive. But again, I show here very clearly that it comes, it's a conditional state, okay, it's, it's, it comes directly through uh, the role, through the pack relationship, so how a dog's decision making process is, is impacted, is influenced, um, comes through how um, you connect with your dog at that level, so it is all about connection, I show what the shared connection represents, and how to uh, make sure that, um, you know, that this level of focus is starting to happen through the role changing process right from the start. Um, so here, and, and again, you know, people discuss, you know, what obedience training represents. There's a lot of confusion about it impacting, somehow uh, potentially impacting um, the uh, drive of the dog. But what I show here is, is um, you know, obedience training is happening the moment that you start connecting with your new dog, whether it's a puppy or uh, an older dog. Once that connection starts happening, um, then uh, then uh, the bond itself, this connection, you know, the roles themselves start to align um, knowingly or unknowingly. So my whole goal here through my system is to bring people in tune to this connection issue and what it represents. So here the, um, just give you a kind of a glimpse into, um, into the uh, leashing this drive. Here's the, like I said, here's the, the basic tracking model. You'll see in this model here, you know, um, articles down. Um, I'm actually using a uh, my basic uh, model actually. I'm, I'm in this one, but it doesn't have the article at all. So I'm just kind of minus the article here that comes after. But um, basically, the goal here is to have a uh, just a straight line track. It's just a very straight line track. Cause the whole uh, goal here is to market. What you're doing is you're marketing and you're selling uh, the bite work at an extremely high level. So you, know, you see agitation muzzle on here. What I'm doing is you're bringing the roll 
role play. You're it's just like putting uh, an extra layer of icing and, and whipped cream on the cake. You're gonna mark it up the uh, bite at an extremely high level. So um, it's just like, and I show here in my one of my pictures here. See if I can bring it up. Um, what you're doing here basically is you're um, going through my book. As you see my book here flash in here, you'll see I put a lot of diagrams, a lot of great information in this book, um, which is going to help you, um, you know, build your dog up to a high, extremely high level. Here it is here. So what you're doing here, this this whole uh, thing with marketing, how you're marketing the bite, it's it's the same marketing strategy basically as, as McDonald's uses to sell their um, Happy Meals. I mean, you see the the, the toy in here, um, and, and it's all about how it's designed to to grab your child's attention, to get you know to basically drive you crazy, so the kid's gonna bug bug you to, to death to get through the drive-through, um, so they can get this this toy basically. So what you're doing here, and I call it the happy track meal with the bite surprise. So, um, but it is it's marketing. It's it's getting uh, the dog focused on that bite. Okay, and basically what you're doing here um, is you're um, bringing it up to a high level that um, that's going to. And I'll get back to the to the basic here. One second. There's a. You'll see. Here I talk about corners and and uh, all this other stuff here with this. So let me bring it back here to this is a secondary one. This is actually I'm um, showing you some of the diagrams from my new book called uh, Tracking Through Pack, which is an expansion. This book's gonna be released. This new book's gonna be released this year. Um, but um, for the for the purpose of understanding or gaining insight, um, my book on the ground covers all this um, information quite well. So encourage you to check it out but here again it's marketing okay it's getting the dog so basically what you're doing here is you're getting to a level where you're basically just along for the ride you're, you're becoming objectified um, through this uh, basic model so your you know your goal is to is to build up this bite at such a high level that the dog is, is, is bearing down digging in the, the focus is, is that you're um, the dog wants it so bad, but you're connecting that dot to the track, to the human scent. So, so when you initially start doing this, the, the focus is on speed and not focus. Okay, it's not it's not bringing the true tracking ability online yet. It's to get the dog um, connecting connecting the dot to this bite work at an extremely high level. So, you know, at the end of the track, so the dog gets the initial uh, quick bite into the sleeve or hidden sleeve. And then through the, with the training process, and then you want to go right into attach the agitation uh, muzzle role play work onto that. So the whole thing is to really get the dog keyed up on the bite winning area. You'll see, you know, so it's you know it's important to have a, a great helper, a, a quarry that's going to be able to really play this up. So it goes from the bite into this uh, into the role play work. And so you want to want to get the dog really keyed up on that. And so when you're starting this whole process, it's again, it's just about connecting dots. It's getting the dog, getting the speed up, getting this drive unleashed, and then the line. You're not nudging. You're not, um, you know, getting the dog's nose down or fine tuning it at this point. That comes after. So the whole idea here is to really start to um, unleash unleash that drive and then through the technique I show in my book here um, what what happens is is that uh, you start to nudge it so here you see this picture here and this shows it here what you're doing is you're starting to once that speeds up you're starting to um, get the dog to invest into the scent cone you know the scent picture the true tracking standard so this whole thing will trade offs you don't want you want the whole package I mean this is the whole thing oftentimes what happens is there's trade-offs happening all the time um, you know you read some art other articles about tracking through drive um, you know uh, you'll see that the you know the focus is on the speed and uh, not the actual focus so you know the problem with you know if the dog's nose is, is up too high and getting getting into more of a trailing situation that's a slippery slope this is what happens, kind of a slippery slope, you start going down, then um, the dog could be missing articles, um, 
could be, you know, um, you know, could be overshooting corners. And could, and it's going to result in scent loss. And so it's about track. And I show here, it's very clearly, it's it's about alignment of track. So the whole thing is, and I show the, the technique to, 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 once the speed is unleashed, uh, how to um, create the focus. The technique in here, I show uh, people how to do that. It's, here it is here, holding holding back and speeding up again. But it's making sure that, um, you know, that everything comes comes into, into you know, the, the right, the dots connect the right way. So even taking corners here, I show here. Um, what happens is your ability to reach your dog is going to be enhanced tenfold. I mean, you're going to be, the dog's going to speed through these corners um, without a lot less circling because even how you attach the bite work, okay, through these, when you start laying uh, extra legs at the track, how to do that so that, you know, that drive is, is that focus level's there. That dog is going to take those corners um, quickly and um, accurately and with the right level of focus. So. I just want to encourage you, I just uh, wanted to mention a couple key things here, but I uh, just really encourage you um, to, uh, if you're interested in, um, you know, the system of training, uh, you can get the book, uh, it's called Going, again, Going the Ground, the Methodology of Police Dog Training, is available directly uh, through my website, um, or Amazon Kindle, or um, Barnes & Noble to, to Nook, and um, also, if you're interested in a, a seminar, uh, one or two day tracking seminar, um, I can come into your jurisdiction and do this in a, a small or large group setting. And, um, you know, there's something really to be said about, you know, uh, in person type training. I'm able to, you know, assess your dog without, you know, this is the thing how I do my, th my whole methodology here is to build on people's strengths, not focus on, you know, the, the weak areas. It, to me, it's just about fine-tuning, enhancement. So it's not about starting over again, okay? It's not about that. It's, it's enhancement. So what I'll do is work with your police dog trainers in a constructive way. You know, I'm not there on an ego trip to tell people what they're doing wrong. I'm there to um, build your program up and to enhance you know the the strengths and so it's a positive you know it's meant to be a positive experience and it's meant to the goal is to um, you know increase the overall performance and ability of both your program and your service dog so um, because there I'm able to go from a classroom setting where I'm able to answer all your questions lay out you know exactly how this is done how the dots connect uh, what the focus is and then go into a practical application uh, out into the street, out into the field, and able to um, to help you um, connect the dots properly and fine tune that that end of it as well. So everything comes together in a in a whole package. So I just encourage you to, to contact me anytime. Uh, phone number is four zero seven two zero one zero six seven eight, or email me through my website. It's uh, canine pack at yahoo dot com, and I'd be more than happy to answer your questions and if you're interested in having me um, either as part of a, a seminar that you're putting on anyway or come into your department for a, a one or two day um, enhancement training I definitely um, can do that for you so um, thanks very much for watching and I hope you have a great day